from the furthest depths of the uncharted seas in the sunken city of Red Yech, beneath the lives and minds of men lies Cthulhu. The last of the old gods he rests in his death-like slumber, awaiting the time when he shall again rise and feast on the souls of man. Until that time when the stars are aligned and he breaks his sleeping seal, Cthulhu comes to the minds of men and answers your calls. It's time once again for... Calls for Cthulhu! Yes, thank you, thank you. Hello, and welcome back to Calls for Cthulhu. I know what you're thinking. Hey, if Cthulhu's awake, the end is coming. Run for the hills, all that stuff. Well, don't worry about it. I'm not really up, I'm just... You ever get that thing where you wake up at 3 in the morning, you go to the bathroom, and you just can't get back to sleep? I mean, you just lie there, staring at the ceiling, and it's just not happening. You're not really awake, you just... Well, anyway, let, let's take some calls. Tim, can you get the number up there? Okay, there we go. So, pathetic mortals, call in with your fleeting concerns and inconsequential questions. Ah, I, I see we have a caller. Hello, caller. You're on the air with Cthulhu. Hi, Cthulhu. I love your show. Thanks. I'm a mother of three beautiful boys, six, eight, and twelve, and I love them dearly. But recently, my oldest has become a real handful. Uh-huh. He stays out all the time, he's got some new friends that worry me, and he doesn't listen to a word I say. Yeah, that'll happen. I'm at my wit's end. Is there anything I can do to get back the beautiful boy that I loved for so many years? Well, let me tell you, caller. I will swallow your soul. I will tear you down and devour you, rend you apart mentally, bringing a plague upon your house and your curse to your family that will end your troubles forever. Thanks for calling. Next caller. Hey, long time listener, first time caller. Thanks. I just finished harvesting celery in my garden, and I'm thinking about rotating to tomatoes. Yeah. But you know, with all these record highs and heat waves and such, I just don't know if I should pick something sturdier, you know, like corn or such. Uh. What do you think, Cthulhu? Well, that's a good question, caller. Let me just say... I will swallow your soul. It matters not how you try to sustain your fleshy bodies with the fruit of the trees or the animals of the land. You only serve to hasten the time when I shall break your very mind, enslave your will, and feast upon the entrails of your existence. I will lay ruin upon your livestock and your home. But, uh, with that being said, I'd probably go with the tomatoes. There'll be a lot of rain in your area later this year, and that'll help the crop. Uh, next caller! Uh, hi. I was just wondering, how do you pronounce your name? What? Well, I was looking it up online, and I found several different pronunciations for your name. I was just wondering... Kid, have you got nine tongues? What? Tongues, kid, have you got nine of them? Well... Is your mouth more than six feet wide? Well, no. Then give it up. It's an alien language. Your little skin flap of a mouth can't handle it. Oh. Besides, it's more of a mental thing than an actual word, so just give it up. <laughs> Next caller. Hey, you're on with us. It calls for... Uh, me. <laughs> okay, cut the mic. Man, I hate ass kissers. You know I'm still gonna swallow your soul, right? I mean, why would you want to suck up to me? How'd you feel if your chicken dinner tried to suck up to you? The whole Cthulhu cult thing freaks me out. You know what your soul means to me? You're like sugar. I mean, I start eating and I can't stop. No, actually, what you're like is caffeine. You don't really taste good, but you're addictive. And then I get that little rush from... No, wait, you're more like those little marshmallow peeps. Yeah, just like those little peeps. By the way, this episode has been brought to you by the great taste of Marshmallow Peeps. Peeps, they're like the joyous rush you get when you snap a man's mind, break his will, and slurp down his soul. Okay, give me another peep on the line. Hi, Cthulhu. I'm going to need to make this question short, because I'm on a cell phone and I'm in traffic right now. Oh, well, here, let me help. What the? Oh, holy cow! My car is flying! It's actually rising up over the traffic! I'm flying over the other cars! Jesus Christ! Wrong. Okay, that's all the time we have for now. If you didn't get a chance to call in, you can find me on the web at callsforcthulhu.com. Or you can send me an email. Tim, put my email address up there. Uh, okay, great. So, drop me a line if you want. I'm gonna try some NyQuil or something and see if I can't get back to sleep. 
So be sure to come back next week when Cthulhu will... Swallow your soul!